Hiya, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about if you can fully recover from an eating disorder. I know this was sort of one of my biggest concerns and top questions I had during recovery myself. I know for many others as well, it's probably the same. So I thought today I would talk through it and touch on my own experience a little bit too. I think one of the most important things to first of all state is that full recovery for someone may differ to someone else. The meaning of it can be a variety of different things depending on your own circumstances and your own situation and what you think you're personally capable of. For the purpose of this video today, I'm going to be talking about if you can fully recover from an eating disorder in terms of being completely free of it. And just to put a quick disclaimer out there, I'm not a full medical professional, I am a nutrition student, however, I am basically drawing on from my own research and my own personal experience really is where I'm coming from with this. As I've said many times before, with recovery, there's kind of two parts to it. You've got sort of the physical side of recovery and then also the mental side of recovery. So in terms of whether you can fully recover from a physical aspect, during kind of physical recovery, this is where your body needs to work to repair itself under the damage that you've caused by your eating disorder, whether that be restricting, yo-yo, sort of binge restrict cycle, whatever it may be, but essentially depriving it of food in some way, whether that be quantity or quality of food. This part of physical recovery is where it needs to work to undo all that and any damage to your body that's happened. So once you essentially start eating right for you, for your own body, you start refueling it. If you have been depriving yourself of quantity of food, you start eating a variety of foods again, getting in the right nutrients, in the right quantities, and you maintain a consistent, more sort of ideal diet for your body and for its requirements. That's when the physical sort of recovery process can really start to happen. That's when your body can really start to heal itself and trust you again and know that there's gonna be sufficient food around in order to put energy into recovery and repair. So I would say for me, sort of some of the physical aspects that I noticed from my eating disorder were my hair and nails were a lot more brittle. My energy levels were really low. I had extensive sort of gut health issues and bloating, abdominal pain, as well as very awkward random all over the place toilet habits as well. So I'd say for me, I definitely noticed that one, my hair got a lot thicker. I regained a lot of the hair that I'd lost. My nails became stronger again. I became more alert, I was better able to concentrate, I felt better myself, my mood improved, and also gradually over time the digestive issues eased off as well. That said, definitely the digestive side of things is where it's taken longer for me to recover, as that can be expected. Your gut itself is massive, it's got a massive surface area, so trying to actually repair and recover it can take a really long time. And also it's not gonna be your body's ultimate priority because given that it's still functioning, even though it may have slowed, I may not be working as efficiently as it could be, it's got other sort of more important functions to initially focus on. Not to mention, I also gained my period back as well. So definitely, from a physical perspective, you are fully able to recover from your eating disorder. You're fully able, in a way, to undo all the damage that you've done, or at least prevent further damage. So for example, with bone health, if you have got decreased bone density, or you have lost bone mass in some way, then that is something that you can't particularly undo, however you can prevent further damage from happening. So generally, all in all, majority of the damage that you've caused during your eating disorder physically can be undone, or at least improved. However, then it comes to mental recovery. So this is your actual mindset towards food, your relationship with it, as well as your mindset and relationship with yourself. And I'd say the mental recovery aspect is the hard aspect. Obviously during recovery, if you experience things like really extreme bloating and real physical discomfort, that can be hard to cope with and that can be mentally taxing as well and it's painful and awkward to get through. However, actually working to rewire your brain, working to undo all the little habits that you have, working to change your mindset around food and yourself, that is what takes a lot more time and effort and is the harder thing to undo. Also because everything within your eating disorder that becomes a regular habit, it does just become a regular habit that you're so used to it, you may not even think twice about it or realise it's part of your eating disorder or realise that it's something that could be damaging to your mindset around food and yourself and that's where it gets difficult. So for example for myself, during my eating disorder I convinced myself that I had all these different intolerances, 
essentially it was because I was deprived of myself of food, my gut health deteriorated, along came the digestive issues, and therefore I started to react to a lot of foods, but it wasn't a true intolerance. However, even after I'd kind of physically recovered from my eating disorder, mentally I was in a much better place around food and felt a lot freer around it, I was still gluten free, I was still convinced I was gluten intolerant, or I was at least still scared to try eating gluten again because it had been so long since I'd had it in my diet and because I'd had so many different digestive issues along the way, I was scared to reintroduce it and therefore trigger more digestive issues and make it harder for myself to recover. I then had the realisation that actually, you know, in order to be sort of fully free of my eating sort of my restrictive eating habits, that's kind of the one last little bit of it that's remaining, that's the last little thing that I need to let go of and that I need to reintroduce and get used to again and so one day I just thought you know what I'm gonna start out gradually I'm gonna start out slow I'm just gonna have things that are sort of lower in gluten have things just gradually sort of reintroduce it into my diet see how I get on and really challenge myself and the fact that sort of reintroducing gluten almost caused initially the idea of it caused some anxiety and a little bit of stress and worry around food suggested I hadn't yet completely fully detached from my eating disorder in the way that I thought I had however I soon reintroduced that realized actually it's okay it's nothing to be feared and that's kind of when for me that was my last sort of major eating disorder habit that I had to let go of. Speaking of kind of trying to undo your habits and get over them and get past them it will massively vary from individual to individual. It will depend on sort of the severity of the habits that you have, how damaging they are, how big of a part of your life they are and also sort of the frequency of those habits because if it's just something that you find yourself doing once in a while every so often nothing that major that will be something that's easier to work on and bring more attention to and just prevent yourself from doing it or come up with an alternative to fill its place instead however the little things that you do on a day-to-day -day basis they're going to be the harder ones to tackle and depending on how many there are depending on how used to them you are as well will vary how easily it is for you to get over them but i'd say sort of for me what really helped was just trying to actually bring conscious attention to the habits that I had, looking at, sort of thinking back to my life pre-eating disorder, even though it can be foggy and weird to remember and thinking, how did I used to eat before then? How did I not used to overanalyze food? How did I just look at food and go, that looks great, I wanna eat it and eat it? It can be confusing. However, really trying to remind yourself of what you were like pre-eating disorder and look at the little habits that you've got now around food, around your body image, around how you view yourself and think, is this something that's normal? Is this something that I would have done if it weren't for my eating disorder? And actually list them out. Think about all the things that are maybe something you should maybe let go of and bring that conscious attention to them and then gradually one by one you can tackle them. Definitely, I mean for some it may work just going completely all in and thinking I'm just wanting rid of this and tackling everything at once. However, if that seems daunting or scary, then just set yourself little weekly or monthly challenges of the ones that you want to particularly tackle and work to gradually undo them, either by bringing conscious attention to it preventing yourself from doing it and the more and more you do that over time it will become habit not to do it or by finding something else that you can kind of replace it with so every time you see yourself going to do that find something else you can do instead and gradually that will become the new habit as opposed to your old eating disorder habit so it will all in all take your mind a long time to kind of rewire readjust and take on the new habits and get rid of the old ones but thanks to an amazing thing called neuroplasticity we are able to rewire our brains neuroplasticity is basically a way in which our brains constantly adapt they form new connections they form new thought patterns and you are able to essentially retrain your brain to think in a different way however that said of course with everything being what you know what you're used to doing on a daily basis it won't be easy and it will take a lot of time but it is possible so essentially Therefore, that said, full recovery in terms of being completely free of your eating disorder mindset is possible. It is possible to retrain your brain. It is possible to view food in a different way and it is possible to change up your habits. However, that said, because of your eating disorder, because of kind of the nature of it, you're always likely to be a little bit more aware of food than you would be if you hadn't had an eating disorder. So, for example, you're possibly more likely to have gained a little bit more nutritional knowledge in terms of what nutrients are, what's on your plate, possibly calorie values of food, etc. And those, because they're so drilled into you and that's information that you've acquired, you're likely to find yourself probably overanalyzing food a little bit more than some sort of regular everyday person who hasn't gone through that. And that's just more because you've acquired that knowledge, it's gonna be 
there in your mind somewhere in the background. So you essentially can work to undo the habits to get rid of your eating disorder habits, however it's a lot harder to undo what you've learnt by way of knowledge. So you can free yourself mentally of eating disorder in terms of feeling free around food, in terms of not feeling like you can restrict yourself, in terms of not having over control of what you can and can't eat, and ditching your food rules and challenging your fear foods. However, I feel like for many, just that more sort of over analytical side of looking at a plate of food may still always remain to some extent. That said, it may not, it may not. For some, it may be possible to completely rid yourself of that. However, you are likely to just sort of be hypersensitive to nutrients and food and what's on your plate. So for some, full recovery therefore may mean just actually fully feeling free around food, no longer affected by your eating disorder habits, being able to eat what you want, when you want, and just living a true sort of food freedom life. Whereas for others, it may mean just feeling a lot happier, more confident in yourself, Generally, you know, you've worked undo a lot of eating disorder habits, you generally feel fairly free around food, however little things or little mindset things that are just really hard to undo may still remain and may still be sort of background noise. However, that to you may be being fully recovered because you're over sort of the majority of it and you're past sort of the harmful, unnecessary habits that you had. So I guess overall, yes, full recovery is possible, both physically and mentally. However, like I've sort of highlighted in this, it will vary from individual to individual. It depends on your definition of full recovery. It depends on the extent of your habits and just how severe your eating disorder is. It depends how big of a part of your life your eating disorder is and how long it's been a part of your life, trying to therefore undo those habits. The longer it's been going on for, the harder it'll be to undo. However, rewiring your brain is possible. Changing up your habits is possible. Changing your mindset around food is possible. Feeling free around food is possible. So it can definitely happen. You can be free of your eating disorder and your eating disorder mindset. However, that said, some little minor things may always sort of subconsciously consciously remain that you've kind of taken from your eating disorder. But all in all in your everyday life, it doesn't affect you anymore. So that is everything that I wanted to cover in this video. Hopefully that's sort of been interesting, a little bit of insight into my own experience and a little bit of the science of your body recovering mentally and physically. If you have found this useful or interesting, then be sure to smash a big thumbs up. Also, if you are currently going through recovery or suffering any of this yourself, definitely reach out to the medical professional help. They're there to help you make your journey easier and monitor you, ensuring that recovery is done as quickly as possible and as safely as possible. And definitely don't be me and do accept the help that is there. If you would like to see more of my content then be sure to go ahead and click the little red subscribe button down below as well as be sure to tap on that notification bell so you get notified whenever I upload and I'll be sure to see you very soon with a brand new video. Bye!